This is part six in the CSS Create a three column layout series. In this short video, we're going to be adding style to column three of our design. A quick review of what we're working towards in this series of videos. We're working on creating this three column layout with vertical and horizontal menu systems. This is where we left our code at the end of video number five. What we're going to be working on is this sidebar right here, our third column. And while it looks like it's in a third column now, it's only there because there's enough room left after we did column two. We want to go ahead and do styling on that column to assure it that it will be up and to the right of our three columns. So let's get to some code. In the area of our code that we're going to be working with is our division with the class of side. We'll also be looking with our inner division, side inner, and doing some styling with that. It's this area right here. Let's go up and look at the CSS. Okay, so we're going to define a width and a float for our side division. Our width will be 300 pixels, and we're going to define that float. And because it is the third of our three column layout, I float the last one to the right. That makes sure that it's against the outer right edge of our container. And our inner, I'm going to give it a padding of 10 pixels. And the reason for using the inner, again, that's one of my favorite cheats, it allows us to pad and not have to add subtract to our navigation, our main, and our side. It gets applied to the side without doing a lot of complicated addition subtraction. So the last thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to justify the text within our um, side column again so that it looks like more like a newspaper. I'm going to save that and go back to my layout and reload. And you can see that this has moved now to the side. And you notice for some reason this did not justify. I'm going to go back and look at my paragraph. Ah, oh, I forgot to do the main inner dot main dot inner. And I'm going to save that, reload. Hmm, why isn't that justifying? Oops, because I didn't put the justification there. Let's do text align justify. Let's reload it again. There we go. We have a large space between here and there, so I'm going to decrease my right-sided space on that padding, and I'm going to, oh, let's make it 25 like we had with the other. And that moved it out a little bit. Let's try doing a width of 500 pixels. There we go, that looks better. Okay, so even though I said this is the sixth, I'm still working with the placement and the styling and everything for my middle column, once I've got my left, right column defined, my side column. Be sure to look at your design. Make sure that it has what you want as you go along. You can always make changes. So that is styling our third column. Thank you very much for watching, and our last video in this series of seven will be on styling the footer.